Hey guys, trying out a different format for my YouTube videos. I thought I would try making a very short video. Very hard for me. I always make long, long, long videos. But I wanted to make a short video about some of the new features that we've just put in Tangent Templates. If you want a more detailed explanation, please check out my other video, which is on the same topic, but goes into a lot more detail about creating worksheets. But what I want to show you right now is our new rainbow text feature and the improvements to our circle text feature. So let's take a quick look at those and see how you can use them to create worksheets for Etsy, for Teachers Pay Teachers, or to put in your KDP books. And I'm gonna click text. And what we can do here with text, you'll see there's three tabs at the top. You've got style, which controls color, and borders and drop shadows. You've got type, which controls the actual font, the styling and the spacing. And also you have some extra features like page numbers. And then you have the arrange tab where you can move the text around on the page, rotate it, anything related to layout. So what I'm gonna do now is show you the new rainbow text feature, which I think is so cool. So I'm going to write a line of poetry. So we'll do some William Blake. Tiger, tiger, burning bright in the forests of the night. Now, to make this text cool, we're going to go over to the type tab and we're going to click rainbow text. Boom, check it out. You have rainbow text now. So you can do a few things with this. First of all, you can change the color theme by going to the group color changer. And this will let you pick whatever color theme you want for your rainbow text. So that looks pretty awesome like that. We can make it a bit bigger. And the color changer gives you several options for your text. So if you do colorize, that will set the colors in order. So you can see there, it starts with that shade and then the lighter red. If you do random, it'll pick any random colors from the theme. And if you click shift, it will step through the pattern there. So you have these three options. And of course you can also reset it. So let's go back to my theme. So again, group color changer, and then just pick whichever theme you like. There we go. I'll go with that one, the urban graffiti. And you just click update. Then you can also add a border to that if you want. So you can select the border color so we can give it a black border. And so that you can see that it's very thin. It starts off very thin. Just turn that up a bit to, I've made it 2.75. And also you can add a drop shadow by just clicking drop shadow there. And you can change the color of the drop shadow. So you can use the color picker color you want for your drop shadow. So you can do something like that as well. I'm actually gonna turn the drop shadow off because I wanna show you something else. So if we go to the type tab and scroll down, We've always had this convert to curve text, which makes a circle from your text. And you can move it around like this. You can make it smaller, shallower, like play with stretching that text around. But now we've actually added a few more options to this. So you have circular, which is the default. Then you also have wave. Now wave works, it works best for shorter text. So I'm actually gonna edit the text a little bit and just do tiger tiger burning bright this works really well for headers so look at that how nice is that and of course you can up the size of the text which changes it and you can change the font of course as well so you can get different styles by playing with that and if it goes off the edge or something like that just change the the size of the text and it'll look good so let's do one more and i can show you spirals so I'm going to do twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. So I'm going to go to my type tab, choose rainbow text and use the group color changer to choose desert sunset. That's nice. Update. So we have that text. I love how this looks. This text looks so nice, but I'm going to make it spiral. So we select this, we go to type and we go convert to curve text. And this time I'm going to say select curve type spiral. So now you can stretch this out. It looks really, really awesome. You can change the text size. So if you make it a little bit bigger, 
it will fill the spiral more. And you can also increase character spacing like that to make a little bit more space in there. So I'm going to make that a bit smaller. And you can add more to this. So you can be up above the world so high like a diamond in the sky. Now you'll notice that if we keep typing we've lost the rainbow effect. So it's really easy to fix that. Just click it again. Go back to rainbow text and just reset it with the group color changer. So if you add more text, you'll probably need to reset it like that, but it only takes a moment. And I'm gonna move my start point there, so it makes more sense. You can experiment with this, play with the spiral text. I think it looks amazing on children's books. And of course you can put like an image in the middle if you want. So I put a little star and I can make it match. Select it all and use the group color changer to match the colors. So I'm just going to do random colorize, random update. There we go. So look at that. How cool is that? You can create effects like that. So there's two new features in Tangent Templates, the rainbow text and also the new curve effects. Now we also added a couple of small additions. One thing we added, if you go to box and add a box, you can also now add handwriting or cursive in a box space. So watch this, if I click handwriting paper, it just fills that space with handwriting paper. And what's cool is you can actually go and change the color of that. So I can actually go and just grab these colors here. So you can also make the handwriting paper coordinate with this color here. So you can make worksheets super, super fast. Do watch my long form video because I talk in detail about how I created these pages, how I use sketch effect, uh, make these awesome pages with Frida Kahlo. I use Dali for some of the images. I make some of these little worksheet characters using Dali. And so they look like that. And for other images, I've used mid journey. So for example, with this picture of Frida, I used mid journey to generate that. But what I do is whether I'm generating images with mid journey or Dali, I use tangent crystal to crystallize them. And then I can put them in tangent templates and work with them. And what that means is I can do anything with these images. I can colorize them like that. You see, she's changing color there. And if you're doing a coloring book for children, one thing you can do with a crystallized image is actually add more border to that. And up the thickness. And if I make this like 30, you'll see it's a much thicker image for children to color. So you have these different options you can do with tangent templates and with crystallized images. So to learn more about making worksheets for Teachers Pay Teachers, Etsy, KDP books, do check out my longer form video that has more information in it. It's a little bit slower and it has more details about licensing and things like that. But for a quick start, I hope this was helpful and I hope you have a lot of fun with these new features. And if you enjoy this video, don't forget to like it, subscribe, all of that stuff so you can see more videos from me in future. I hope this was helpful. Have a great day, guys. Bye.